Another bed, another day lying down, another battle on the horizon. I've got used to seeing Mel like this. She's not having a good day today. But this time, it does feel different. I'm not in a halo and I'm breathing and not having seizures and I'm alive. And <laughs> so, you know, things are much more positive than they were and it has been a big success. The last time I saw Mel, she was desperately fundraising for an operation to save her life. She's had her operation and the medical halo that she lived in for 18 months is gone. I had a complication where all the air leaked under my skin and my face and all my body and um, four and a half weeks in intensive care and I was quite poorly. What message have you got to the people that gave money to your fundraising page, put cash in a bucket? They've, they've really made a massive difference here. I don't see them enough just saying thank you but I'm just so grateful and obviously I wouldn't, wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all those people and it's all added together to help like, get me here today and save my life. And there's someone else to thank too. Dr Hillet, the only man in the world who felt prepared to take on the job of fixing Mel once more. Resecuring her neck and spine, a procedure that involved operating through her mouth. As a medical doctor, I think that one of our duties, and I feel it really hard, is to try to help people. As I chat to him, he explains this was a case that was so complex and so risky, it was discussed by his hospital's ethics committee. These hands working what will seem to many like medical magic. She's young and, and, and she has a character. I mean, she has a, a, a way of, of, of living that is somehow encouraging others. So I understood that this is very important and I cannot, I'm not the one deciding who should abandon, who uh, should not abandon. So that's why I thought it was a good idea to try to help her. It's been five years since I was last here in Barcelona with Mel, filming her after her first operation here. Since then, she's returned to this city several times for other operations, and she's raised hundreds of thousands of pounds to fund those trips. But it's not over yet. Mel faces another return trip to this hospital, where she'll have the second part of this latest operation. The second operation was never planned. After hours and hours of surgeries, doctors decided that Mel just wasn't strong enough to withstand any more. A four-week stay in intensive care followed. Now she faces having to return to have the rest of the operation completed. With carers in the apartment, Molly, Mel's mum, gets a chance to catch some fresh air. And we start talking. My day was going up to visit her in ICU for visiting times because you weren't allowed in any other time. Uh, twice a day and then sitting in the apartment on my own just thinking about it knowing that at any time she mightn't be there the next time I visit. Money is never far from her mind. In spite of all the fundraising she has loans to pay back after family, friends and strangers stepped in to help. It plays on my mind all the time and all the time I'm thinking I'm going to have to sell the house when we get back and that's easy for me but where does Melanie live? But, yeah. Is that a real possibility that you might have to sell the house? Well, if the money doesn't come in for the second operation, yeah. Because then not only do we have to repay the loan, but then we have to pay the second operation as well, which I think is about 75,000. I haven't got the numbers, definitely, but it's a lot of money. But you'd be willing to do that if it meant Mel was able to complete this whole operation? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Well, because it's her life. She deserves to live a life. The challenges for Mel never seem to stop, but neither do the efforts to give her a chance of a normal life. While we're filming, Dr Hillet tries to fit Mel with a new brace to support her body. How are you feeling? Not good. Not good? Mm. The sun sets on Barcelona, a place that we usually associate with the 